All right, Colin. It's Thursday. Now, Colin, I decided that tonight we're going to eat together. Or at least I'm going to eat. You can do whatever you want. What I normally do when I eat is I talk about my day, I talk about my life, and basically that means that I tend to talk about my job a lot. So, Colin, let's talk about customers. Since the very first day of my employment at Office Max, I have been meeting very interesting customers and observing very interesting customer behaviors. Now, I know that anyone and everyone who has ever worked retail or worked in food service or worked in any sort of customer service, really, has some of these stories. So, I figure it's about time that I share a few of my own. So, weird customer behavior number one. I'm going to preface this by saying that I don't know if this happens at every store, but at the Office Max that I work at, this happens a lot. And I'm going to be honest with you. It pisses me off. Why do customers feel the need to enter and leave through the wrong doors? We have a set of doors clearly marked in and a set of doors clearly marked out. This should be a very simple thing to grasp. But for some reason, customers feel the need to walk in the outdoor and walk out the indoor, even though we have made this incredibly difficult for them by making the outdoors automatic and the indoors manual. Therefore, to walk out the indoors, you are actually going out of your way, doing more work to achieve the same result. I wish I could tell you how many customers I have seen do this. It's got to be at least 60% of them. Weird customer behavior number two, calling to find out the store hours. Now I understand that a lot of stores do not necessarily have their hours online yet. However, our store does. A lot of retail stores and especially retail chains do have their hours of operation posted online. The only time that it's okay to call a store and ask for their hours of operation is when there's a holiday coming up and you're not sure exactly when they're going to be open. Other than that, these calls are just the most annoying things in the world because you answer the phone, you say the little spiel that you have to say, the person asks, when are you open till? You say nine o'clock or whatever the time may be for that day, and that person hangs up on you. Every time. Weird customer behaviors number three and four, the disappearing customers. First, we're gonna talk about number three, which is customers that ask for something to be put on hold, or they decide that they wanna check next door, and never return. These are customers that will call the store, ask for a specific item, see if we have it, ask us to put it on hold, and then never come in for it. That means that that item sits on our counter for a couple days until that person doesn't come in, and then we put it back out on the floor. Or customers will come into the store, go out, find what they're looking for, bring it up, up to us, ask if we could put it on hold for them. We say yes, we put it on hold with their name, and then they leave, never to return. For some reason. I mean, clearly you wanted to buy this item enough that you went out of your way to have us get it, or for you to go get it and then bring it to us so we could hold on to it for you, and then you never buy it? Tagged on to this, we have weird customer behavior number four, which is the customers that enter the store, wander around seemingly forever, don't talk to any of us, and then leave without buying anything. And I've got to be honest with you, these are some of my favorite customers because I am so confused as to what their goal is. I do not personally have a lot of free time, so for me, the idea of just going to a store to wander around for 20, 30, 40 minutes and then not buy anything is incredibly weird. And what really unsettles me about these customers is that they never ask for help. They never want to know where anything is, they never want to have any contact with us. Normally, if a customer's been in the store about 10 minutes and hasn't really wanted help or hasn't needed help yet, we'll walk past and check on them just to make sure they're okay, they don't need any help finding anything or anything like that. And these customers never do. Many of them don't even talk. We ask if they need anything and they will just shake their heads and turn away from us. It's really weird. And then, after this incredibly long search, without any help, they will leave the store without buying anything. Clearly having wasted their time, unless this was some sort of reconnaissance mission that I know nothing about. Weird customer behavior number five. The customers that come into the store and then condescend the employees about how they're doing their job. As an office supply store, we carry and sell a lot of different kinds of ink and toner 
for a variety of different printers from all the major brands. And so, as you would expect, customers that own various printers from all these various brands from different years come in looking for ink or toner for their machines. But then you get the customer that doesn't know what kind of ink or toner they need, knows nothing about their printer, and then condescends to you when you do not know immediately what printer they have or what ink they need for their obscure printer. It's as though they expect you to have memorized the entire history of printing and every single item that could possibly be associated with it. And my message to these customers is this. Know what kind of ink you need to buy before you come in to buy it. Also, we as employees know that the cost of ink is very high. We have no control over this or any of the other prices in the store. When you as a customer come in and tell us that the ink that you need for your printer costs about as much as the original printer that you needed to buy, we're not surprised. And honestly, I really don't want to come off whiny here. I just don't understand how some of these customers think and act and behave. Anyway, Colin, I have finished my dinner. I hope that you have finished yours, and I hope that you've had a good day. And Colin, I'll see you on Saturday. Or whenever you post your next video because schedules are for losers. Also, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate it. We like knowing that people watch and care. I know that I'm going to be remaking this video at some point.